Hey guys and welcome to my channel my name is Nick Leary and well today it's Easter so I thought a really good topic for today would be hidden Easter eggs in your Mercedes-Benz so we've got some crazy things to go through today from AMG starting louder than they normally do to hidden features on your Mercedes-Benz key hidden Easter eggs on the Hey Mercedes voice assistant How can I help? and even cool things that your Mercedes-Benz ambient light can do and speaking of that ambient light, let's make a start on that one. And as always guys, just a quick reminder, specification does vary from model to model and of course country to country. So if you're not entirely sure, get in touch with your local Mercedes-Benz retailer. And of course they'll give you a hand giving you tailored advice on your own car. So I've tried to keep these as generalized as possible. So they should apply to most models. So first on the list then guys is Mercedes-Benz ambient light. So did you know that when you adjust your temperature, it will reflect the temperature with the colours in the car. So if I make it warmer, for example, it will go red. And if I make it colder, it will go blue. Now Mercedes-Benz attention to detail does not stop there. So if I change the passenger side, for example, it will only do their side just like that. Pretty neat. However, there's more. If you have an EV, so an electric vehicle, and you plug your car in, the lights will actually pulsate green to show it's charging. And I only found this out the other day as well. If the alarm is set off and you have ambient light, the ambient lights will actually flash blue and red to indicate the alarm's going off. So it's just that kind of attention to detail that I guess Mercedes-Benz don't need to do, but it looks pretty cool. Now, next up is the Hey Mercedes voice assistant. Good, because I thought it was going to go off then. Basically, it's a very, very clever voice assistant found in quite a few modern Mercedes-Benz, primarily models with MBUX, but most importantly, you can give it commands for lots and lots of things. So, for example, give it commands on your phone book to ring people, navigate places on the sat-nav to even getting your favourite radio station up and even changing the ambient lighting colour. The list is endless. However, there are a few hidden features and kind of hidden Easter eggs built into that very voice assistant. So, number one... Hey Mercedes. How can I help? What's the weather in London? Currently it is sunny in London with a temperature of 1 degree. In the afternoon it will be cloudy with temperatures between 6 and 9 degrees. So you can get your own personalised weather forecast for virtually any town or city. However, number two. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? What do you think of Audi? The same as you do otherwise we would not be sitting here showing them who's boss lovely <laughs> hey mercedes how can i help tell me a joke why should you never eat a clock it's too time consuming ah uh, some cheesy jokes on the hey mercedes voice assistant what about number three now, next on the list is a thing called commuter route. Now, I have covered this a long, long time ago on one of my first tips and tricks videos, but I thought I'd bring it to light again because it can definitely save you time in the morning if you travel for work each day. So, one thing you need to make sure you have is a profile on MBUX. So, I have a profile here at the moment, so I am currently logged in. But if you don't, just go in here and create a profile, and make sure you've got one of those set up. So, after you've done this, go to the navigation section. So, if we go in here, and then go to settings on the bottom right, then go to advanced, and then go to route, and then at the very bottom of here, you'll find a thing called activate commuter route. Now, if you pop this on, the sat-nav will automatically start, but silently, based on your home and work locations, if you start traveling along that route in the morning, which is particularly useful because naturally it is sometimes rush hour, but it will give you the quickest route possible, avoiding all of that horrible traffic. Ah, now AMG's, the performance side of Mercedes-Benz. So did you know that on some selected AMG's, uh, you can actually turn them on with the valves open and make them a little bit louder. So you can go from this, which sounds pretty cool as it is, to this. Now it is only a subtle increase as it is, but Hey, it does sound pretty good. So if you ever want to do this, just hold one of your paddles, so either this one 
or this one, just hold one of them as you turn the car on and it will start the car with the valves open. Now while I'm on the topic of paddles, so these things behind the steering wheel, I did cover those recently on one of my videos, so if you wanted to know more about those click on the pop out banner up above. So I won't cover it in this video, but I did leave out a hidden tip and trick on these paddles on purpose because I was leaving it for this video. So of course if you use these it will go into a temporary manual mode uh, on that video. However, if you hold the left one, it will actually drop down to the lowest gear possible based on your speed. So quite useful if you need to overtake anyone. Now, yes, you could obviously just plant your right foot on the accelerator paddle and drop down to the lowest gear anyway, but that's mainly for people who want to make use of those paddles. So yes, hold the left one and it will drop down to the lowest gear possible. However, when you are done, hold the right one and it will go back to automatic straight away. Now, next up on the list then, guys, is a thing called Rescue Assist. Now, hopefully you'll never, A, need to use this, or B, see it in action, but it just shows you the level of attention to detail that Mercedes-Benz go to just in the event of an emergency or an accident. So, if, for example, a car had rolled over onto its roof in an accident and firefighters needed to get you out as quickly as possible, Normally what they would do is go back to the truck and get this big operations manual with all the details of every manufacturer and look at all the details of where they could safely cut you out of the car. Because of like fuel lines and batteries and airbags and that sort of thing, you don't want to be cutting through those. So what Mercedes-Benz have done on the fuel filler cap is a QR code. So that QR code will show the firefighters who are going to cut you out of the car all the safe places to cut to get you out quicker. Not every manufacturer does that, but you can scan this one yourself and actually see the information. And it'll look a bit like this, just shows you where all the airbags are and that sort of thing. Not particularly useful for us, I guess, but hey, it could save your life one day. Now, next up on the list then, guys, is the auto passenger mirror dip. Now, this is so, so useful if you're parking against the curb, for example, and you don't want to hit your really, really nice Mercedes-Benz alloys. So what you can do you can check to see if your car has this by simply, uh, with the engine on or electric motor on, depending on your car, uh, pop it into reverse, but keep your foot on the brake pedal and have a look over on the right hand side to see if one of your mirrors illuminates. So here you can see the right mirror has just illuminated, meaning that I have this feature. Now the right mirror here does nothing, but if you select the left mirror, that will bring down your left mirror over here so you can clearly see things that you don't want to hit. In this case, some hidden Easter eggs. Now, next on the list then, guys, is primarily for estates and SUV owners, many people who have a bit of space under the back here. When you lift this up, normally you have to keep this up. However, if you look really closely, there's this little hook thing here, and if you take him off and hook him on the top here, it will keep it open. Now, not many people know about that, but it does enable you to have both hands free to get things on the uh, inside. Now, for the next hidden Easter egg then, guys, is something that's found under the bonnet. Not all Mercedes-Benz have this just because of different designs and different heights and that sort of thing. However, under here on C-Class and E-Class, if we open this up, it opens on its self-retaining struts just like this. However, if I draw your attention to this bit just here, if you press this in, you can actually give it a bit of a wiggle just to release it. And you can actually make it even higher than it was before. Makes it a bit easier to do any work on here, I don't know, like filling up the windscreen wash or that sort of thing. But of course, when you're done, just make sure you put it back. So push this button in here, release it down, and then close it back up, just like that. Now, next up on the list then, guys, is a hidden Easter egg on your Mercedes key. Now, this I did actually cover on my 10 ways to secure your Mercedes uh, which I did a couple of months ago. But this is a very, very popular tip to basically program on your individual key how many doors open at any given time. So let me explain. Normally when you unlock it, it'll unlock all doors. However, if you only want your driver's door to unlock, then you can program your key to only do just that. And it stops anyone else getting in the car and doing all sorts of things. So basically, all you do is hold unlock and lock at the same time, just like this. And if you look really, really closely at the top of the key, it will flash a couple of times to say that it is done successfully. So when you unlock your car in the future and go around to the driver's side, the door of course unlocks, but go around to the passenger side and you'll see here, the doors remain locked. 
Now, of course, if you want to put this back the way it was before, just hold lock and unlock again. It's about five to seven seconds to put it back the way it was before. And there we go, guys. That concludes this week's video on the 10 hidden Easter eggs in your Mercedes-Benz. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Make sure you use it. If you have any suggestions, let me know down below and I might just consider your suggestion for a future video. But as always, huge shout out to Sandown Mercedes-Benz as they help provide access to all of these awesome cars you see in the videos today. But guys, thank you so much. Until next week, see you then.